Associate Editor of B2B Purchase Magazine, and we welcome you to the interactive series on construction boom from welding and cutter. For a social perspective, India is projected to become third largest construction market in the world. The government of India plans to spend 1.4 trillion of US dollars on infrastructure by 2023 for sustainable development. The government has also suggested an investment of rupees 50 lakh crores. Which is equivalent to 750 billion US dollars for the railway infrastructure by 2030. This boom will reflect unimaginable leverage for allied businesses like fabrication, PV welding, and cutting solutions for construction, infrastructure, X and other segments. On this note, today you will be a part of a detailed discussion. on construction boom for welding and cutting industry today technical experts skill development specialists and leaders from the welding industry will discuss the need for skill development safety technology upgradation for efficient welding across the construction infrastructure and equipment businesses ladies and gentlemen it's an honor and privilege for me to introduce you to our today's distinguished speakers Mr. Anil Kumar, robotic building system design engineer at Panasonic Smart Factory Solutions India. Mr. Satish Savan, head inspector and surveyor at Institute of Welding and Testing Technology. And Mr. Anthi K A, he is a project manager at Don Bosco Vocational Training Institute. Mr. Anil, I would like to start with you. You very finely described the robotic welding systems for construction equipment. So I want to know how far are these applications used for construction equipment to add accuracy and precision to their performance? With the help of robotic welding, we can increase the productivity of the labor, building time, and cycle time, delivery. With the uh, comparison to the manual welding. and the robotic welding is efficient and the quality of welding is also improved and the robot can work for longer hours with the same thing again and again with the manual welding there are many challenges quality of build, welding bit is not proper and it is a longer uh, longer time it can take and also the robot can perform welding in water in uh, parts in which heat is uh, generated but the it is difficult for men also to enter and do the welding for continuous time thank you mr rani for sharing your views of course the robotic welding systems are expected to bring massive transformations in the equipment design mr antri coming to you what kind of training and skill development uh, activities are happening in the area of robotic welding like you already mentioned about the skill development so can you shed some light on training activities also for uh, robotics Uh, skill welding training there are many not so many institutes but there are uh, city centered institutes for example you have uh, a very good center uh, doing the training in pune it is under the uh, leadership of fronims then you have in cochin there is uh, there are two private uh, don bosco not has started we have simulators introduced in the training robotic training is happening in cochin there is one Uh, private uh, training, especially only for uh, robotic center, is there again using the Fronius machines. Then we have in Chennai, Fronius and Kempi, both these international companies, they are having their own training centers, specialized more time dedicated for the robotic training. Then you have another group in Calcutta, Clues. They are in collaboration with the uh, Indian Institute of Welding. They are doing this uh, welding training program. Then we we have another Don Bosco Institute in uh, Don Bosco Kurla, Kurla and uh, DB Tech Delhi. All these institutes they are they are and most of the what you say robotic manufacturers they are offering the training programs. But exclusive welding training certification program may be given by maybe very few groups in in robotic welding. And you don't uh, actually actually you, you mostly those who go for this program are either those who finish their diploma uh, engineering or maybe those who are done their B Tech or those who are having sufficient experience in building. So they go for they can pick up this training program maybe within one or two weeks, uh, maximum of thirty days. Then it comes to them after uh, their experience. So it is available. Training centers are available. There is no issue. 
Thank you so much for highlighting the uh, institute's availability for exclusive building training, Mr. Ajay. Mr. Satish, coming to you, you have been an expert in policing and quality inspection. What would you like to add to it from the perspective of safety standards and engineering quality? Very specifically, Ajahn, today, as Mr. Antri has given a very good uh, fact which is happening over here. You know, generally, it starts with the uh, eight, star, eight pl- fail or I don't know what he has said, eight pass or eight fail and even who is not getting any admission in other trade and then they become a welder. So safety is very, very important because we need to educate the guys on safety. And when very specifically in construction, they are they have to work on height. And those kind of situation creating in a welding school will be very, very difficult. What I feel we need to have a special program, which is the industry best program for the welding. Like oil and gas welding is a totally different than the ship welding. Then if you go for automotive welding is a totally different kind of welding is required for automotive sectors. So definitely we need to work together, understanding the need for the safety also, because whatever the safety for the constructions is now, we have to think about the environmental also, we have to think about the safety of person also, and others who is working with this. So going for um, automation, that can definitely help us to get a quality and consistency and safety for the welders and for the industrial safety also. So definitely we need to work a lot on safety and the education level need to be increased. And uh, most of the industries in construction very specifically or in total industries, the welder has been kept on the contract basis. So they don't, people don't see the futures in welding field. That is a sad part of it. If uh, tomorrow, if anyone uh, want to become a welder, why you should become a welder? Or why you should become a welding operators and all? Because most of the places, welder has been kept on the contract. So we should pay them well. We should help to develop themselves in their own career. People should look at the welding as a career. I don't think uh, in today's scenario, uh, whatever is happening, that total scenario need to be changed. So I think everyone here is uh, understanding the requirement. Now implementation should start and uh, definitely as uh, Anil is working on a robotic, more and more young engineers should come in a robotics welding, automation and were to create a smart welder. That is also the need. Like our welders, as Antri has also said, they should know about the cutting, they should know about the fitment, they should know about the welding, then they should know about the entity also. How my job is getting inspected when I will weld it. So definitely there will be a big challenges will be there. And how we can motivate young generation to the welding field, that I think is a very big challenges front of all of us because the good welders will go abroad and work definitely when they don't get the good salaries over here so all welder they want to become a welder because they want to go abroad so good scholars and dollars i believe that but then there is a very tough situations will be there in coming ahead so everyone need to work on this together to resolve this problem but problem is very serious what i feel with my experience Thank you so much, Mr. Satish, for addressing that. It's indeed a critical aspect to look at it and to take care of it. We, it's time we need, we need to address it uh, seriously. Uh, Mr. Antri, there is a question from Mr. Raghu Jia, one of our delegates. He's asking if there are any online courses in the welding. There are, there are online courses in welding, not for practical activities, but for example, if you are a person in welding already working as a supervisor or an engineer or a welder, they can go for online courses that is offered by Indian Institute of Welding, Calcutta. They're offering two courses especially, that is International Welding Technologist and International Welding Engineer, IWT and IWE. So they can go to their site and register for the program, iawindia.com, iawindia.com. So they are the franchisee for con- uh, conducting this international diploma, lifelong diploma program. You have it for the international welding technologist and engineer, international welding inspectional personnel at the three levels, and 
uh, other uh, training programs like for uh, example you have inspection training programs also some other for example TW also is conducted but uh, you need a practical program and these programs are uh, accepted internationally and uh, they can with their prior experience and all because online training they cannot have uh, sufficient uh, exposure to practical program so only those who are working in the field those who are having sufficient experience will be admitted for this so there are online programs available thank you so much mr entry for addressing that i hope mr raghu got the answer that he is looking for i believe mr satish wanted to say something to it um, unmuted your speaker um what very specifically what i feel online program is only enough now which is uh, during the covid time where uh, done this online like you are doing the b2b this kind of seminars can be arranged definitely but welding training ndt training and all this skill development because this is a skill job even welding inspector welding engineers instead of going on online they should get a hands on training is very very important what i feel all uh, even engineers and uh, even managers or the who is uh, very specifically practicing in lean management in iot and all they should have a hands on experience because that is ultimately the adding the values to the person and adding values to the job so creating awareness online is okay but i prefer all the engineer who want to become a welding engineer or welding inspectors or welding supervisors you no know, they should go for the offline program and they should do hands on because there is a good institutions are available even uh, what i am doing right now whatever the program i am conducting i am trying to demonstrate to the welding inspectors hands on you know how the welding has to be done every inspectors were asking them to perform the welding then i am showing them how the tensile test has been done how the yield strength has been taken what is the difference between the rc rb scale in hardness how, how the weaker hardness has to be taken unless and until they do with their own hand they don't see and online is enough yes, during the covid there was no other option was available now yes, all engineering sir. colleges have started so our welding institute should start again and we should focus on offline program and because this is a skill development program so yes. it should be done if, on ground level yes yes that absolutely. is my opinion absolutely. My, my opinion absolutely online and, and offline the systems are available that definitely will help we are and simulators are available that can create interest with the young generation absolutely okay. sir absolutely so definitely absolutely. something is there because otherwise you will become having a monotonous all the people is talking about iot and all and our right. elder is not knowing about it so they should also work on the simulator they should also work on iot's and right. then they should also go to the virtual reality and see what right. is happening in the world so right, definitely right, right. that can help for the safety training and all we cannot create a explosion and absolutely like, sir which can absolutely, be done by sir. iot and all absolutely absolutely these yeah. thing has to have an intrusion to address all these things i have yeah. a question for mr anil Uh, Mr. Anil, how are technologies like laser cutting and VAM and other technologies are adding precision and speed to the projects? If, the, if we can talk about this, that all this automation and all these uh, robotics, the all the process is made easily. Uh, we can uh, the cycle time overall cycle time can be increased, so, uh, can be reduced because. In, if the manual process is happening, then it will take longer time. And in now the uh, robotic arc welding is there, and also uh, laser welding is also there. So the quality of that welding is also much more better than this uh, MIG welding or uh, arc welding. Thank you so much, Mr. Anil, for uh, mentioning about the technical details. Uh, Mr. Satish, coming to you, can I please request you to make a closing statement for this session? Actually, I should thanks to B to B. You are doing wonderful job. and all the participants who has taken their valuable time for the uh, attending this program see there is a what i feel we need to work together from the fm every one man material method everything the new material which is required new welding consumables will be needed and all we have to work together 
and definitely now at least awareness has been created and with this awareness i think um, that can help to all of us to grow in the country and we should make something new for the new generation which is coming and uh, they should have a better life than us they should get a better infrastructure than us whatever means uh, i'm little bit talking about myself which uh, i not enjoyed so at least my new generation they should enjoy on that they should get more benefit and whatever i learn like i'm practicing for 33 years in welding field from 87 to 2022 i want to give my whatever knowledge is available with you know within a few time they should not struggle for another 33 years to gain the knowledge so definitely whatever the advancement is there we all should go with the all advancement and we should take so many time i feel i had born little bit you know i should have born in 2022 to enjoy all, all this robotics and iot is and all but nevertheless whatever young generation should get benefited i thanks to anil also anil kumar has also uh, should motivate another young engineer to come in a robotics you are not only supposed to enjoy the benefit of this and anthri is also i uh, really whatever the study has been done by anthri and understanding the pain areas of the welders and the industries really good uh, anthri ji it is nice uh, meeting all of you together and uh, let us plan uh, something on ndt also that is my request to be to be because when cutting is there cutting also is a special process and most of the problem which anil will be facing because cutting has been not done properly so uh, robotic welding will not work properly okay so for the robotics and all we need to see that our uh, cutting should be also involved into that no one has spoken about the cutting definitely next time you can talk about the you can cutting and water jet cutting and all other uh, plasma cutting what is the limitation of gas cutting and what is the benefit of gas cutting there is a good technologists are available good companies are available in india they are having in depth knowledge about it so involve them also upcoming definitely sir yeah definitely so, definitely we'll keep a note of it is, and our uh, title is welding and cutting yes cutting is uh, prime and then uh, because the age preparation is a big challenges as on today and the age preparation has been not done properly so we are facing for the welding and people blame to the welding and welders their blame should be stopped welding is good welders are good in india they are making all over the world whenever we go abroad whenever i travel abroad i have seen only indian welders are ranked number 1 it is not that we don't have good welders we are having very good welders and they are putting their efforts on that so of thank course, you very sir. much i will thank you it's already delayed <laughs> thank you so much sir thank you so much of course the uh, next generation will are definitely going to have wonderful engineers pay in welding specifically uh, mr anthri do you want to say anything to complete this session firstly i would like to thank the organizers b2b and uh, prasad who invited me for this program and it was a very good learning session for me regarding robotics and mr satish also Uh, with his vast experience in the NDT and uh, international exposure, he has enlightened the listeners. And I certainly believe that the challenges I have proposed during this small session, they are real, real challenges. I because I really happen to visit, I really do visit at least one or two companies every week because I am just after different companies to place my boys. to get the support for training to understand the industry what type of variations i should bring in for the training so i really feel the pain of a welder uh, when he goes into the field and i i am happy that i have a lot of my disciples in the sense who are trained pro in city working abroad and india so when we really understand these challenges only we can really address the industry with uh, creative solutions so i hope this small session has given a little uh, challenged all the listeners regarding the difficulties faced by a welder and that will create uh, more opportunities and more industry academia training institute interaction and in the future will produce more good welders thank you thank you so much mr santri of course even we do believe that like we discussed that in future we are going to have quality welders and ample number in 
a g- great quantity mr anil what would you like to add as a as a part of the closing statement first of all i would like to thanks the to you for giving me such a big opportunity to share our experience and knowledge and also thank you antri sir and satish sir also for your valuable words everything has already said by satish sir because many in many cases also in many parts with uh, building also is difficult because some cutting process is not proper so there are some technology for touch sensing and arc sensors arc sensors are also there overcome they uh, that issues but still they can also cutting is a major problem Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Anil. Like you mentioned, and like Mr. Satish and Mr. Antri mentioned, cutting is also a very critical aspect in welding when we talk about welding. Thank you, panelists, for sharing your valuable views on construction boom for welding and cutting from a source perspective. We hope you all have enjoyed the session. Before wrapping up today's session, we would like to thank our distinguished panelists, Mr. Anil Kumar, Mr. Satish Salan, and Mr. Antri K. A. I would also like to thank our editor Mr Prasad Nair for taking this initiative. You can follow our social media pages to get more updates from B2B Purchase Magazine. Also, our application is available on Google Play and App Store for enhanced reading. With this, we would like to announce closing of our today's session. I request all of you to stay tuned with us for more such sessions. Until then, thank you, goodbye and take care everyone.